Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. And it's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. For all those who've been asking, when are we going to get the next dually in? When is the next Ford coming in? Of course, guys, we did get one in right behind me. We got a 2020 Ford F-350 dually. This one is the Lariat trim. It does have a few upgrades to it compared to the regular Lariat editions. But again, the customer who had this took very good care of it. A special ordered this one. Of course, he needed a bigger truck for what he is doing. So he traded that one in. And of course, now we have this one here. So for all those interested, please give me a call after this video. Email me, text me. You will not find this online as yet. We are in the process of putting all photos online and of course the, the, the actual information. So if you guys have any questions before we set everything online, please give me a call. I'll be able to answer any of those questions for you. So let's take a quick walk around this beautiful, beautiful truck. Again, for all those tuning in, it is a 2020 Ford F350 Lariat trim dually. This one does have the FX4 package. Like I said, there is a few upgrades on here. As you guys can see, this huge grill guard, of course, for protection. This one does come with the 360 camera. So you have that first camera here. You got two on either side of those uh, tow mirrors. Of course, you have one backup camera and then you have one in the bed as well. So as we go around this unit, I will point out all those cameras for you. Again, underneath the Ford sign, you will find that front view camera. We got tow hooks, of course, that nice grill guard from Weston. Let's take a look underneath the hood. What you guys are looking at is the Ford 6.7 liter power stroke diesel V8 engine. It's also partnered with a 10 speed automatic transmission about 475 horsepower and about 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. Again, it was one previous owner. He was, it was well maintained. Of course, it is a 2020. It does have a little bit of mileage to it in terms of the year. But again, it was well taken care of. And of course, we at TransWest, whenever we get a unit in, we do service it as well. So this vehicle will be all serviced and ready and set to go as soon as possible. Firestone tires. Nice and clean. What you guys are looking at right now is 245 75 R17s. Of course, you got the Ford F350 sign, Lariat trim, 6.7 power stroke turbo diesel engine, automatic Toro mirrors. This one does come with the blind spot monitor as well. As we open, we got folding running boards. As we look at the door, one thing that stands out to me right away, well, for me knowing what to look for when it comes to those units, this one does come with three options for memory. Everything is powered. You got power windows, power mirrors, folding mirrors as well. You got power extender for your tow mirrors. You got power tilt steering wheel. You got power pedals, adjustable pedals. And of course, once you set all those powered in terms of the steering wheel, the pedals, the mirrors, the seats, and you put that into your memory, all of those parts will actually adjust to the way you set it the first time. So your pedals, your steering wheel, your seats, your mirrors, they are all capable of storing into that memory slot. Let's look at the black leather seats here. Like I said, it is powered. Powered lumbar system, power adjustable back, all weather tech mats throughout the whole unit. This one only has 45,000 miles as we speak. Front seat does come heated and cool, and I'll show you guys where those buttons are located. 
Back seat. Those back seats are heated. So the two outer ones are heated. They are foldable to have storage underneath here. This storage box here can fold and so you could have a full floor in if you need more uh, floor space. It does come with regular floor mats. And of course, like I said, it does have the WeatherTech mats to rod this unit. Charging, oh, let's show here. We got one Phantom, one USB. You got a 12 volt, plus you have a 110 plug-in in the center here. And of course, your settings for your heated seats are in that center slot. <clears throat> of course, you got that wood finish on the doors here. And that's the signature of Ford. They love doing that. You got your diesel tank and your def tank located on the driver's side. It is a dually. So you got your dual tires in the back. This one does have the FX4 off-road package. And of course, that's just added protection underneath the vehicle, protection underneath the transmission, underneath the fuel tanks. You have those skid plates. And of course, this one does come equipped with airbag suspension. Previous owner did add that onto this vehicle as well. Nice and clean, that two-tone color. You got that white with that kind of brown, light brown color. You do have a tow package, bumper pull tow package here with a four pin and a seven pin hookup. We do have the extension for that in the vehicle as well. So if the opening for that bumper pull is too big, we have the extension in here. Ford does come with steps to enter your bed and it is added on, it is a part of the uh, tailgate because we're hooked up to this awesome trailer right now, I won't be able to open that up for you. Full Rhino Line bed. <coughs> Excuse me. This one does come in for BMW hitch. Right now we are hooked up to a gooseneck ball on this awesome 2022 Logan Coach. Logan uh, horse trailer. <laughs> uh, and of course, fully Rhino Line to keep this truck in good shape, especially the, uh, the bed. That, re that backup camera for the bed is located right between those lights here. We do have a, a rear window, and I'll show you guys where that switch is. Let's take a look inside. Kind of show you guys some of the features. Again, just a few little upgrades I've seen so far when it comes to the 2022, 2020s. Nice and warm inside. Of course, you got the BNO stereo sound system. We got about 10 speakers in here. We got an eight inch screen. When it comes to the home, you have typically what you'll find on most vehicles right now, AM, FM, and satellite radio. You do have Bluetooth technology. You also have Apple and Android capability on this as well. This one does come equipped with navigation, climate control. You could do everything via your touchscreen or manually down here. Your phone, you could set up your phone via Bluetooth. You got your different app stores and of course your settings for your different options here as well. So coming down here, you could do everything, change your stations, you could pre-program your, your stereo, your Sirius XM. If you have favorite stations, you could actually preset them. You could actually change the same things you could do down here, you could do up here. You could change the volume or raise the volume. You could change your stations. You could answer your phone, so of all your hands-free calling. Over here, you got your cruise control settings. And up here, you got your, your switch here to toggle through your dash and your different options on the dash as well. This is a diesel, so you, you're able to, to check your gauge on your DEF fluid, your gas, check your temperature, and of course, your oil temperatures as well. So everything is all up here, all the gauges are up here. You could actually switch switch them around if you want to see what your turbo is like you could switch one of them out to see the turbo 
of course the gas will always stay there because you want to keep an eye on your, your diesel consumption and where you're at of course everything up here will be top off you're gonna have a full diesel tank and you're gonna have a full death tank as well so all that will be all the way to full when you come to pick up this unit coming over here you got your trailer brake system you got your trailer backup settings here coming down here you got a nice little storage box and of course it does have a USB plug-in and it does come with wireless charging as well so this pad up here where your phone will sit nicely up here let me pull my phone out and kind of show you what that looks like so it does fit well with my iPhone 12 Pro Max so as you guys can see right now it is charging so very easy to put in there and remove if you want to close that to avoid dust and stuff going in there you could do that you got a, a two cup holders here but it does have an extension where you could just slide this through and you could have an you could have an additional two more cup holders here so four cup holders if you want to or you could just stick with two and of course a nice little storage compartment here this one does come with heated and cool seats so the red is heated the blue is cool seats you got three different settings low off high medium and of course your fan levels your fan speed so you could go all the way to seven and of course I like it on the low settings I just me you got a 12 volt and a 110 plug in here over in here you got a nice little storage box well huge storage box with a 12 volt hook up in here and of course a nice little tray where you could put your coins and of course different little items and you could just store it in here as needed more cup holders and of course between the, the, the bench seat in the back we got a hand rest and cup holders as well nice little storage boxes here glove compartment so this is your camera view right now this is the front end of the truck this is your 360 camera. This is different options you could choose from. This is the front end. This is the bed. It actually shows you the line so you could line up into your trailer very easily. And of course, you could add additional cameras to this system as well. So, a nice little option here. This one does come with lane departure warning. Like I said, it does have blind spot monitor has a few options here so we do have a panoramic sunroof on this truck which I love seeing those on those trucks so the full roof is all glass so if you have kids I love to look up when you're driving this this little feature works pretty well let me close that up because the Sun is coming in so one press you, you could actually see it will go halfway on certain vehicles if you close it it will go all the way through um, on certain vehicles it will stop that on that halfway mark and then you just press it again sorry I don't go in the wrong way if you press it again it will go it will close all the way through so a nice little, a nice little uh, feature here and of course you got your settings here down here for your sunroof this switch here is for your rear window especially in the summer it's a nice little way to kind of air out your vehicle crack the front windows and let the air pass through we got six auxiliary switches up here again you could use those switches for anything you could label them as well so if you want to put a light bar on the on that grill guard you could do that if you want to put an auxiliary light in the back especially when you're working at night in the bed of the truck you could use one of those switches for that as well if you have an auxiliary gas or fuel tank you could actually switch use one of those switches to engage the pump um, some people normally put an auxiliary switch somewhere in the vehicle we Ford and Ram had that as well with those switches makes life easier instead of adding aftermarket switches you have those options here universal garage controls this unit was well maintained again it's only a 2020 but again some people could really 
really uh, abuse some of the vehicles, even though it could be a newer vehicle. But our customer with this one took very good care of it. So this one will be available on the website by the end of the day. So if you guys are interested, you want more pictures, you want to ask questions about this video, feel free to contact me. This vehicle is available as we speak. You guys will be the first one seeing it right now. First time filming this one. So my office number is 303-684-3412. Cell number 661-755-4344. You could text or call me on that. Or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com for any more information, Carfax, service records, whatever the case may be, we'll be able to provide that with you as well. So thank you guys for tuning in today. It will be a great weekend. The sun will be out this weekend. No more snow, maybe for a little bit. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys back here on Tuesday. Larry will be for you here on Monday, God's willing. And, of course, thank you guys for your business. And I hope, hope I could hear from one of you guys soon on this unit or any of our units on the lot. So thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you next week.